very in fellows. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for calling me to speak in this important debate, and thanks also to those who managed to get this and for your permission to have this debate today. I am a member of, or was a member of the Scottish Steel Task Force, along with my honourable friend, the, the member for Hamilton and Rutherglen and Hamilton West. The, the Scottish Steel Task Force was a partnership of Tata Steel, local authorities, trade unions, political parties, the UK government, Scottish government agencies such as Scottish Enterprise, Scottish Steel's Development, uh, and the Partnership Action for <coughs> Continuing Employment. Now, this task force was put together by the Scottish government to help find a buyer for the threatened Scottish plants in DL and Clyde Bridge. The task force did a great job, as those of you and the minister sitting opposite me will know. The handover took place on Friday on a, based on a back-to-back -back agreement whereby the Scottish government bought the plants from Tata and sold them on to Liberty House. It was a wonderful day. We were surrounded by all the members of the task force and families and friends and steel workers themselves. It was an emotional day. Steel is an iconic industry in my constituency. In fact, the industry in my constituency is responsible for some of the more specialised steel that is used in the defence industry, in the oil and gas industry as well. It couldn't be allowed to go under and the Scottish Government didn't allow that to happen. It took a very, very, very proactive approach yep. to the threat. They, did, they put forward legislation which introduced a one-year relief on business rates for a prospective buyer. The assessor agreed to look at the state of the steel industry when revaluation takes place next year. The Scottish Environmental Protection Agency worked closely to make sure that any prospective buyer or anyone who was interested got the best possible advice as efficiently and quickly as possible. The Scottish Government has also produced a new responsible procurement policy, echoing and, in fact, bettering in some instances that that has been done by the UK Government. Yeah, yeah. Minister Chanters, I'm sorry, I lost my place. On energy costs, the Scottish Government is both working to reduce the overall energy consumption and the cost. We were very pleased, the Scottish Government was very pleased that the EU cleared the energy intensive package in December last year after this Government was prodded into action by the UK Steel Summit. Scottish uh, Skills Development Scotland developed an upskilling programme to help retain key staff and to help them move back into employment once a buyer was found. Those were the very people who were there on Friday. Sanjeev Gupta of Liberty Steel said that the transfer of ownership couldn't have happened without the efforts of the Scottish Government. He's also indicated that 150 jobs will be created to get the plants back up and running again, almost back to where we were. The UK Government cannot rely on helping workers after the event. It's their duty to be proactive, to be seen yeah, to be yeah, proactive yeah. in securing buyers for affected plants following the Scottish Government model. Scottish Government phoned prospective buyers, kept in touch with the customer base and at the same time maintained business confidentiality. They can do it. You should be able to do it. Yeah, yeah. The Scottish Government has also launched a manufacturing strategy only in February of this year. It, what, it proposes to boost the Scottish economy by investment and education in order for Scotland's businesses to compete globally. What are you doing in that regard? Finally, can I give an, a piece of advice to the Secretary of State? Speak to the Scottish Government to see how saving plants can be done using actions, not words. As the First Minister said, the steps we have taken in Lanarkshire should give hope to those in other parts of the UK that with the right support and a strong government, there can be a future for steel.